Hey everyone, welcome back to Tom of Play's Darkest Dungeon. We... wait, our roster is full, I remember. We have someone to level up. Uh, right, we gotta level you. Take these two, him and the librarian, everybody will be level 6 and then I can move on to good stuff, right? Is this the plan? I'd say yes. Ooh. Now... Medium length so that is probably good enough. All Saints Day is free stuff. Silence in the Crypt gives us a boost for the boss. Silence in the Crypt gives us a boost for the boss. I don't want to go for a long one with this part. Wait, this is stupid. I don't have a healer if I do this party. I guess we can use the Librarian as a healer. This one has self heal, right? And this one has... Oh, it's the tiniest self heal. Oh no. I don't think this is a good idea to do. Maybe if we go somewhere where it's very easy for us to go. These are long missions. I don't want to do long missions. And... I guess... He's bleeding, and he's bleeding, so we shouldn't go Ruins or Cove, which means... Oh no. Ruined! Absolutely ruined! We can go Cove so, so if I get the trinkets, but I think Ruins might be easier. Makes our Jester a lot worse, though. Is the bleed is not gonna happen in the Ruins? Like, backline librarian for healing? I mean this, like, for example, this could work. If we kill everybody fast enough, because... We only got one character who can self-heal and her heal for 6 for over 2, but that's... Not a great one, to be honest. Does she have healing trinkets, maybe? No. I guess someone can take this one to heal the party on kill. But it's still not helping much. And we still have the problem that this is kind of bleedy, the party, I guess. Dark step instead of harvest, and then these. We'll also have him use finale. Because he can. He gets the move back. We have a move forward as well. Rupert is in the second position. Maybe he doesn't want to move back. That actually marks the target and buffs damage received. It's pretty good. Range. Melee, melee. That's a back two if I do that. So basically I do Bound for Glory and then I do Finale. For the finishing moves. Before that he boosts. We have no backline. This party is horrendous. We're missing backline damage. We're mainly bleed and we can't do this in the ruins. Guess Cove might be a bit better. Wield, we don't need to go and warrants is only long missions and this party will not survive long missions. Good to courtyard, but that's a boss fight. Party will not be able to beat the boss. Oh, we could go Darkest Dungeon. Hell no, not with that party. So what are we going to do? Feel bad about ourselves? We have the Blasphemous Vial, right? Just just let me... There it is, the Vial. Do we have the Dark Tambourine? No, we don't. Okay, so this go, doing this could work. The party is... I don't know how we could get this to work. I mean, she needs to... Heal. 
buff and then I guess Forbidden Charm is not good. Know thy enemy, Mark? We have no Mark synergy either. Forward two on this one. Bound for glory damages himself, that's bad. He's kind of switching, I mean, it's only forward is the... Oh, this is so bad. I don't think I should do this, honestly. I mean, right now I'm going to have him use Rip and Biting Blade most of the time. It's the front two, this hits the front two, we'll have so much stress, but I guess he can stress them. We can, we focus on the damage dealers and let the stress damage happen. Is this the plan? I want to try. But let's be honest, we might have to not do this. Or we might have to interrupt, move out, get rid of this quest. The thing is, healing received works on the heal over time. I don't think healing skills, the heal over time doesn't get stronger with healing skills. Could check. And there's also buff stress skills, so I'm gonna use this still. On kill, self heal 3. Hmm. When someone will get the other worldly bell. I got the ruins less damaging. Let's go for scouting. Accuracy and dodge on the Jest, I don't know. Slayer, I don't think we have trinkets. We do have trinkets. Better stress skills. Healing received and stress healing received. And then some damage. I don't know which one. And then the Thrall. We got better repost. Speed, if in position 4, accuracy in position 4, crit in position 4. Less damage, more accuracy, more crit. And then, let me check, ranged, ranged, melee, damn, so we can't use the pen for example, minus 50 damage, we can, do we have an unholy slayer? Is, is Unholy Slayer raring? No. Hmm. Don't have damage versus Unholy or something like that. I have crit versus Unholy. Oh, this, this is damage and crit. I thought this was protection. Never mind then. So we do this. I'll have him get the... Healing Chalice. Uh, the healing bell. It's less damage, and then we go for actually crit dodge debuffs. Are not a smart move. Ranged melee melee. So these, since these are the most stuff we're doing, I guess to just get the melee stuff. I don't like this at all. Damage versus unholy. She can't do damage though. Huh. <laughs> this party is doomed. I'm gonna I am telling you, it's it's completely ruined. Okay. Still. Let's see if there's some quirks to get rid of.
That's something to get rid of. Damage range skills seems good. Because our attacks are ranged. Okay, that's this guy. Yeah, that's quirks to get rid of. Um, I guess torn rotator. Five accuracy boost. Yeah, I'm taking that. Claustrophobia, tone nerf. Demonomania might be bad. Satanophobic. What's that? Stresses unholy cried. Bloodthirsty mercurial tenatophobia. Egomania obsessed with self worship. Um Get rid of Nocturnal, I guess. Damage melee skills or protection? I'm gonna get the protection. The protection is always nice. And now we will embark with this in the Ruins quest. I'm gonna take all the food. Because we have no main healer. Now we're in the Ruins. Few shovels. Few holy water. Few keys. Some torchlight. And then another medical, one of each. Oh god, what am I doing? This is not good. <laughs> this is probably the most non-functional party I've done so far in this playthrough. That's not th something to be proud of. But I can't deny it. It's just it, it's it's the greed. I don't want to level my guys anymore. I want to have this mission, everybody on level six, and then get there. Even though I'm never using the Slayer, we're giving him another Those chance. Power in symbols. Um, Collect the scattered scraps of faith and give comfort to the masses. I could have upgraded this guy. I was just thinking, did I did I upgrade everybody? No, he. he <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Oh no, this is bad. Okay, you still, we got this stuff. We can you slice off for single target damage? Try to get, snipe guys with slice off on the otherworldly bell for the self heals, otherwise he'll use battle bell and inspiring tune. And then this guy do, uses run and gun or bound for glory in preparation for the... I mean, maybe I do this. That's a stun. Could use the reload. I, I would like these two though. And this guy is just... Yeah. The mark doesn't matter, but 30% damage received matters. Probably never gonna... Maybe I do this? Get a, gather three holy relics. My highest level character can't do damage. What am I doing? The cold stone seems bent on preventing passage. Honestly, the more I look at this party, the less functional it becomes. This is... Sad. And look at that. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, he's gonna get crit. Uh, I thought I thought he gets attacked like this immediately. Okay. Listen here, we're gonna slice off. Resisted the bleed? Yeah, it's 6 HP. See, the he healing skills doesn't do anything. Okay, first enemy dead. He's at 90 stress. Fun! How do we get the backline with this party? Maybe he gets attacked now and can repose, guys.
Everybody can use forward attacks. It's happening. Accuracy in protection. Speed, accuracy and crit. And she gets moved back. No, she just stands there. Okay, honestly, this is... He has no move forward, I forgot! Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. I honestly forgot. Okay, everybody gets speed boosted. Okay. It still leaves the problem... ...with the good old... That's pretty good with the increased healing received. We killed the corpse. I should put the reload on him. Destroyed. One enemy left. She can heal herself. I mean... Everybody got stressed a lot. That's 12 HP healed. Screw this, we're, we're getting there now. He goes indomitable. And now the Jester will finale. See? And that heals everybody. Worth. It's not worth. Success so clearly in view. Or is it merely a trick of the light? There's so much backtracking as well. Oh lord, save me. Oh, come. What? Okay. Wh whoever went through here and looted everything, we're gonna get ya. What is going on? Does he have a move forward? No, he can use Tremors in the last position. Still gonna move her back. And we'll move him back. And now we're in position. Obliterated. The finale debuff is horrendous, by the way. That's going to be our next heal. I mean, the good thing about this heal is it's guaranteed 12 heal over time. Decimated. And I mean, a Slayer is actually doing a lot of damage. Wait, that's wrong. I wanted to use Tremors. Slayer can heal himself. I'll have the Slayer use his self heal. That's also a really good skill. As the fiend falls, a faint hope and there you go. I wanted to get the reeling reload in, but I don't think I want to. Instead of the run and gun? Okay. So far we had plus 30%. It's not amazing. Yes. A handsome reward for a task well plus 40. I mean, these are level 5. They will level up, right? Oh, maybe not. Both are just level 5. Maybe we'll have to give them some of these as well. 
Now I need to find more is the thing. Otherwise this whole thing will not be worth it. 50, okay. I, I'd like bo both of these to gain 50% increased. There's a heal to be had. Okay, I'm going to use Battle Ballad. Resist the bleed. Is this the stress? No, it's not yet. He was more than 30 away. Attacking the Slayer is completely fine. The bleed will heal everybody if she dies to it. I don't think I want to leave her alive for that long. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. The mark there is unfortunate. Goodness. 25% crit? Oh, right, because of the Necromancer's Collar. Yeah, let's try. Oh, that's good. She's in second position. Oh, no, I gotta do the heal. That's him on Death's Door. Please have him act before the rest. Is he gonna hit himself now? This is no place for the weak or fool. <laughs> Can we pretend this all of this never happened? That was my freaking reason for going here. Give them no quarter. And now we're missing another character from uh, the Jester is a good one. I guess that's a bit of a problem with that. All of the characters are good ones, but come on. I don't think I can even finish the mission now. Go for the stun. And we got a turn of rip and tear at least. The wounds of war can be healed, but never hidden. A trifling victory. Okay. But a victory nonetheless. Okay. 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 I don't want to have to do this again, but... I have not a single holy relic. I could just go now and wait until we get a Jester back and do the same mission again with the next Jester. I mean, the party was better than I thought, but not really. I could try to finish it, but this is sketchy. I guess I'll try to finish it, but we like, I go for the curio, but we know this is not a quest, so we don't have to go there. I don't want the gold. Accuracy range skills? Why not? Now we move up to the curio. Some gold, doesn't matter. Now both of them have 20%. And backtracking. Let's see if we can at least finish this. You can see the... Now, by the way... I feel like this is a good time to get her the beat back. Back. And I guess we could use run and gun more often now, technically. Because he can do the reload to get the backline going. Instead of Bound for Glory? I 
Maybe you should have had it like this in the, in the first place. Hmm. That's actually an upgrade there. 10 accuracy, 5 crit, less dodge, and this is 10 accuracy, 6 crit, less damage. So we trade 15% damage for 8 dodge and a crit. That's not worth it. Okay, let's hope we get the quest fast. Oh, dodge on the trap, very nice. Our food lasts longer now. Thank goodness. Okay, there's the red liquory. First one. Bam. Another dodge on the trap? Damn. I mean, it's also pretty unlucky what we're doing here. With the looting and the extra leveling. Second. Very nice. Curio, curio. No quest that way, so I'm not going that way. Means we only go down. She probably has high 95. Okay. Now we're waiting for the Jester again because I'm stupid and he died again. Because I don't have a healer, only the heal of a time thingy. That's the fourth empty thing. I th this expedition was doomed from the start. Listen, we were going through with this. Unholy stonework are these guys. Interesting. We get dodge and crit. Let's go. Is the bleed so low? It's 130. This guy has 60% resist. There's a 70% bleed chance. It's just not happening. He's still dodging with the dodge debuff now. Okay, how do I do this? He's gonna rip and tear the cultist, and he's gonna smack one of the gargoyles, right? And then we can... This time we gain accuracy... ...and protection. The team is so slow. Uh, okay, he's gonna activate his repose now. Animosity. Double crit in the, against the gargoyles, still only doing one damage because it doesn't do any damage and they have protection. Ooh, get double crit right back. That's not great. And now he's ferocious. I think he gets even more damage now. Behold. Oh, yeah. Is made manifest. Plus. 45%? Did I see that right? It is plus 45% damage. Wow. Try to de-stress him, I'd say. That's enough bleed, thank goodness. The slow death, unforeseen, unforgiving. Uh, gold, extra level up. I guess get these instead of the gold. That's a heal. I don't need that. Wealth beyond measure, awarded to the brave and the fool. Is it plus thirty? 
Is it plus 40, okay? No, they're both at plus 40. Uh, curio, curio, quest, curio, curio, quest. So, I guess three more fights, though sometimes the quests don't have a fight. It was empty again. I saw it. It's working through our own stress. Let's see if this is a fight. It is not. So we got one hallway fight and then possibly another fight at the quest for Curio at the end there. The stress ceiling is insane. Glitter and gold, trinkets and baubles. Okay, he can't read it. He will. I don't have torches anymore. This is our fight. Doesn't seem hard, but it's gonna be a lot of stress. What do I get? A dodge and a crit. No, dodge and accuracy. Still pretty good. Up at 111 stress again. Let's see if we can kill him first. No, we can't, of course. Number one dead. The abyss returns. We have to start stress healing here. He's gonna get so stressed so hard. He also gets stressed whenever he takes damage, that's the problem. I wanna keep him off a heart attack. Damn it! And now the whole backline is annoying me. We're going to do this. So next turn he can reload. Not what I want to see. But at least it skips his turn. I was hoping for the attack that probably would have killed him. Ah, 27 HP. That's honestly, probably wouldn't have killed him. Oh, he gets an accuracy debuff as well from his ferocity. That is so close to a heart attack. A powerful blow. It's not enough. I should have used run and gun or biting blade. Actually, if he heart attacks him now. Okay. What if this is gonna be a fight? Can does he have de-stress? Yeah. Uh, okay, you know what? And now the true test. Hold fast or expire. I got a plan. We'll move back, use the firewood to rest, have him stress heal, and then we'll go for the last fight there. A moment of respite. Chance to steel oneself against the coming horrors. Stressing everyone else is okay. Prevents nighttime ambush, virtual chance death blow resist. That seemed like a good good thing to do. Okay, this this seems like a way better. In case there is a fight here, 
This seems like a way better setup. We got through the heart attack. No one's at that door now. Everybody has HP and we have... Uh, there was no fight in here. Okay, so this wasn't needed really, but fine. We're returning. It's a catastrophe. That was horrendous. The trappings of his faith have been restored. Less healing received. Holy hell, get out of here. Evasive is pretty nice. We gotta get rid of the lethargy. Take advantage of this faith fueled charity. It will not last. Okay. No jester. Okay. Uh, disease first. Who's the other? guys in my party there you we got to put you somewhere and she here's claustrophobia cityomania cityomania seems bad and egomania as well do you have anything we can put you anywhere he is infirm I gotta get rid of that so that's free stress relief. And we handled that very poorly. But I guess he got marked and then just killed in a turn and died through the first death door check. He was masochistic though, that might have reduced his uh, death blow resistor. And I'm, I'm not sure about that. This was a short mission and it was a failure. I'm sorry about that. Tomorrow we'll, we'll, at least everybody except for the uh, Jester is level 6 now, so we will continue with the bosses. If the boss rewards aren't great, maybe we'll, I'll already start with the first Darkest Dungeon. In the next few episodes at least we'll do it. Next episode it's either Darkest Dungeon or the 16 pounder, and then we'll see. Uh, still, I hope you enjoyed this at least a bit. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next episode.